It's game night in Edmonton, and this is where the hockey fans want to be. Over 18,000 seats will be filled tonight to see an Oilers game in our very own Rogers Place. Only open two months, and it's already welcomed 400,000 guests through its doors, some of those coming from across the globe. Once complete, the finished ice district is expected to have 4 million people walk its plaza annually. Fans are pouring into the downtown arena to enjoy the new atmosphere. But what about the rest of the inner city population that has been pushed out by the ever-expanding ice district? The arena may be finished, but that is only the beginning. Three more towers are under construction and set to be opening in 2018, 19 and 20. The towers will consist mostly of condominiums, welcoming over 1,950 new tenants to the ICE District. Once complete, the ICE District will cover 25 acres of the downtown core. However, nearby facilities for Edmonton's homeless population have raised concerns about where they will fit into the new layout. Those who work closely with homeless Edmontonians agree that their future downtown is still unclear. We'll see what happens with these new developments. Another one too is the U of A Arts, Arts Gallery at Camp is going to be right beside the arena, overtaking, over overlaying the most of the major shelters in Edmonton, Herb Jamison, George Spady, things like that. And that's probably the most uh, uncertain one. I understand progress and I understand that people like hockey and I understand that you want to fix the downtown to invite people to come down there between the government and entrepreneurship. But I think that there should be a bit more balance than making everything condo, condo, condo and, and just pricing us out of the market and pushing us to the outer parts of the city. And I don't know, that's what I see is happening right now. The arena has given agencies tickets to the open house as well as free skating passes on Sundays. Other efforts to welcome and accommodate Edmonton's homeless population are in the works. We'll see a public bathroom as well in the arena. So we'll see if that pans out yet. And also a public space where people can hang out, especially with the, the, the Jean Vier um, art piece that is there too. So um, I think there could have been a lot more done to think ahead, but right now it seems to be there's a, there is a spirit of cooperation. For Nate Newswatch Extra, I'm Mackenzie Owens. Effects of this are yet to be seen, but are starting right now. So they are trying to uh, keep the communities together in a sense and work.